everyone compares Elementor Pro and DV by talking about the usual things, pricing, templates, and basic features. But after using each builder for over a year, I have found a few quirks and issues that no one is talking about. Issues that can make or break your workflow, site speed, and even your ability to scale your business. You can pause to check the generic compressions if you need, but we are skipping straight to the advanced and lesser known differences. Number one, Elementor's modern layout versus DV's rigid structure. Elementor has fully embraced modern Flexbox and CSS grid, making positioning and alignment far more intuitive. Whether it's vertical or horizontal alignment, content justification or spacing, you have the freedom to tweak every element without hacks or workarounds. Your designs flow naturally, making them look better across different devices. DV, in contrast, still relies on the traditional row and column structure, which can feel outdated and restrictive. While it gets the job done, it often forces users into a rigid workflow where even minor layout changes require multiple steps. This makes Elementor the better choice for designers who crave precision and flexibility. Number two, performance. Not just load speed, but workflow speed. Performance is another major factor. Some say DV is slower and some Elementor. But the real issue isn't just how fast the pages load. It's also how fast you can build your site. Elementor's editor loads quickly and allows for inline editing without necessary pop-ups or extra save steps. In DV, every edit requires multiple clicks and confirmations, which slows down your workflow. On the front end, Elementor also generates cleaner code, meaning sites tend to load faster out of the box compared to DV. However, both Elementor and DV can still generate bloated code if not optimized correctly. That's where Airlift comes in. If you're struggling with speed on either builder, Airlift is a free speed optimization plugin that can instantly boost your site's performance. Just paste in your URL at airlift.net and it will handle the optimizations for you, making both Elementor and DV much more viable in terms of performance. Number three, mobile responsiveness. Custom breakpoints matter. One of Elementor's biggest strengths is its ability to define custom breakpoints, giving you complete control over your design on different screen sizes. This means your site can be optimized for a variety of devices beyond just desktop, tablet, and mobile views. DV does offer responsive editing, but column stacking can be unpredictable, often requiring extra manual adjustments to get things looking right. If you want a builder that's truly optimized for mobile, Elementor is the right choice. Number four, built-in features versus reliance on third-party plugin. Elementor Pro includes a pop-up builder, an advanced form builder, and a testimonial carousel while DV relies on extra plugins to achieve the same functionality. And small things like Elementor's dark mode UI also make designing more comfortable, while DV's default interface remains bright with no way to change it. These little quality of life improvements add up, making Elementor feel more polished and streamlined compared to DV. Number five, the Hello Business theme. If you're running an online store, Elementor's new Hello theme is a game changer. It's specifically optimized for WooCommerce, improving store speed and checkout experience. Plus, it comes with five new free widgets that help you design high converting product pages. DV, while still WooCommerce friendly, relies more on short codes, making it harder to achieve the level of customization Elementor offers. If e-commerce is your focus, Elementor is the best long-term choice. Number six, DV's A-B testing versus Elementor speed and workflow tools. DV has one powerful but often overlooked feature, DV links. An A-B testing tool that lets you test different layouts, buttons, and CTAs for better conversion rates. However, Elementor prioritizes workflow efficiency. Features like role manager, copy-paste elements between different sites, and navigate settings quickly with its finder tool. These features make Elementor a much better choice for agencies or freelancers managing multiple projects at once. When you're working at scale, these small workflow optimizations can save hours of time and reduce frustration, making Elementor a much more practical option. Number seven, business model and future development. Elementor runs on a subscription model, ensuring a steady stream of revenue that funds regular updates and new features. DV, however, offers a lifetime deal, meaning they rely heavily on new customers rather than recurring income. 
DV's one-time payment might seem like a great deal up front, but if the builder is not evolving fast enough to keep up with modern design trends, you might end up having to switch later. If you want a builder that constantly improving and adding new features, Elementor is the safer bet. So, which one should you choose? If you want a modern, fast and flexible builder that's always evolving, Elementor Pro is the clear winner. If you're looking for a one-time payment option and don't mind relying on third-party extensions, DV's lifetime deal might work for you. And if speed has been a concern with either builder, don't forget to check out Airlift to instantly optimize your website's performance. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer and why. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.